right now. I've actually um, been on here before. Oh, uh, what's, what's the update? There is none. What happened? What was the feedback? It was a lot of men from Africa, a lot of... Why do you keep doing that? What I'm doing? <laughs> what is that about? I don't, I don't know. I do that a lot. All right, what's your name? Right now, how old are you? I am 34. Right now, 34? You look younger than 34. People say that. What do you do for a living? I'm a nurse. A nurse? Okay. Do you have any children? Yes, I have four. 17, you have 14. Mm -hmm. 17, 14, 13, and 8. All by the same man? Yes. Okay, have you ever been married? Yeah, my husband passed in 2018. Oh, okay, okay. So this is unique because you have four children, but they're by your husband and he passed away. Oh, Lord, somebody already <laughs> in the DM. What happened? What, is that the goal? Yeah, it's the goal. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me say focus. You have a unique situation. Her husband passed away. She has four children. What kind of man are you looking for now, honey? Um, an honest man. Um, someone who is understanding of my situation. Someone um, who has a job. Who has a job? Yes. Okay. Please. And who has a car. Please, thank you. Um, so so <laughs> men don't have cars? I don't know, Kendra, because sometimes it's just like iffy. There we go. She get ready for the Beyonce concert. Apparently, she come on with them baby hairs all the way down her face. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, here we go, Mister Walker. Shout out to Eric Jordan. There's another huge blimp. Access denied. And this sister here, she still got four kids in the house. She wants somebody yeah. understanding. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna understand about your kids like you, sister. See? That's four uh, the hard way. So <laughs> we're gonna let her cook. She got four kids. She says by one man, but it really don't matter at this point. It's four kids, it don't, you know. It don't, so, it don't. Here we go. Really? Yeah. And then let's see. Someone I know I'm gonna say that. Who is religious? Because it is important to me. Because God got me through what I went through. <laughs> um, let's see. They can have kids also. I'm okay with that. Because I'm not having any more kids. Not having any more kids? No, ma'am. Okay. She's not having no more kids. All right. <laughs> she's not having no more kids. Fair enough. What are your deal breakers besides? I'm sorry. I have a housewarming tomorrow, and and, and so much is happening. Hey, look, can you open the door for the um the guy, please? What are your deal breakers? Liars and cheaters and um broke men. Okay. How much money you gotta make? Um eighty five hundred. Not eighty five thousand. Eighty five thousand? The chair first. Um eighty five thousand at least? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, you make eighty five thousand, I'm assuming, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, you make more than that. <laughs> I make it. What? <laughs> so you couldn't make 75? You couldn't do it? I guess if you knew. So, Kendra, listen. Uh, can I pick up my phone? <laughs> so I like to go on trips. I do. Like last I can't week. hear you. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, stop from the beginning because she's about to break it down. So the request is how much he has to make? 85000 And it's Let's just stop her. Stop the cap. Uh, we've been hitting on it. You talking about you make over a hundred thousand? You got to pay to play, and and your money ain't going that far with six kids. You call. You can stop. Stop the cap. Man, that that part. Huh. She bought the flex. She said, "Can you sell? Oh, you make uh, over eighty five. She said, "Do what?" She said, "Kendra, can I grab this phone? Cause I I'm gonna speak into the microphone." She said, I like to travel. She about to go off. Let her go off. Ooh, here we go. Make sure y'all hitting the like button. Here we go. 100K.
this sister with four kids blowed out looking for Mr. Six Figures, you can't make this up. And she she about to justify what she said. Take it all in. <laughs> Here we go. And tell me the reason why. So I like to go on trips. Last week I was in like San Antonio. Like somebody I go. I'm never in Dallas, but I am. But I like to do things. And if we can't do things together, like I'll pay for some sometimes, you pay for some sometimes, we pay for it together. I don't care. But I like to do things. I'm not just about to Netflix and chill. We're not about oh sorry, bad word. We're not about I to I can't the time, girl. <laughs> Cause we not. Mm -mm. You see what I'm saying? You us are. They, she she describing what she been dealing with. Just people mm -hmm. coming over to hunch, Netflix and chill, sneaky links. But all of a sudden, she said, "I'm grown." And women think when they get older and more mature that they can raise their standards, and that's the craziest <laughs> thought process. To say I'm more mature now, I'm not. I want more. I, I know what I want now. It's over. Mm. Yes. She she's so tired of dealing with Nug Nug coming over there with no house, no place to rest his head, no car, no transportation, coming over there talking about Netflix and chill. And as soon as and as soon as she hit the app for Netflix and you hear the doom doom, he reaching for oh. her inner thigh. <laughs> she, say, she say she say dang, I didn't even put on Tubi, and you reaching for my innards. <laughs> and then after all that. They go beat the meat, nug nug, get a little post clarity, and he out the door, never to be seen again. Nug nug on his way out the door, grab a couple of fruit snacks, a juice box. Sayonara. Might, might mess around with sneaking your purse, take a couple of 20s. All that. It's going to steal your All weed. It's going to take the uh that a half empty bottle of Casamigos. He take it. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! Wait, listen, this yeah, Doug Doug, he gonna lightweight burglarize you on his way out the door. Yes, <laughs> yes, all oh, that sister, you gotta eat that. And how you got four kids in the house talking about traveling all the time? Huh? She said she ain't never home. These are her words. She said I ain't never in Houston, but I am. But I'm always traveling, Kendra. I travel. I you got to keep up, Ninja. <laughs> okay, so you got to do things. But she not. Netflix, she's not gonna next Netflix. I can't even say it. She's not gonna Netflix and chill all day. Even if she ain't staying local, you gotta have a passport. Take her ass to Santorini, to That's Greece, to Dubai, to Africa, to New York, oh. then Paris. And so I guess you're right. That's February. So come on. What you say? <laughs> Italy in February. See, so she's trying. Okay, so he has to be able to afford to travel with you now. Is he paying for himself and you, or just himself? Either or, I don't care. Okay, so that's why the money's important for you. Yes. Oh. Did, because, did you and your husband used to travel a lot? No, we did not. So me and my husband, we got it out the mud. Not gonna lie, I've been through that situation. Now I'm comfortable, and I expect you to be. A <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Now, what do you say to the guy that was say? So, have you ever dated a guy that made that amount of money? I've dated a guy that made more. Okay, what's the problem? Where he at? Mm. They have issues. I don't want to deal with it. It could be like their personal issues, but mm, I just haven't met the right guy. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, does he have to look a certain way? It depends on how much money he make. I'm being honest. So, <laughs> if I can handle things, but he can't be like, mm, Kendra, my last boyfriend was 56. Your, your last boyfriend was what? 56. And you're what? You're 34. I mean, you grown at 30. <laughs> so 56, he made the money you wanted though, I'm assuming. Absolutely. We went on trips. We did things. But that's so now you want the younger. Well, that makes sense to me because the 56 year old men, men like younger women, right? So 34 is younger than 56. Mm -hmm. So I could, that makes sense that a 56 year old man was willing to do all those things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So here we go. All right. Stop the cap. 
Two things could be true. Show me this man. And like you said, it was for a good time, not a long time. You probably paid for the trip. Give context, man. Who is this there brother? You there and you go. He messing the game up. If, if all this is true, he messing the game up. This, she said this dude was 50-some years old. Yeah, just show him. We know what he looked like. Now stop the captivity. This was some big, blowed out simp. What's the name? Somebody chat keeps saying it. They lost his mouth. Blowed out simp. That's what he was. They on the boat ride, they seen it, then witnessed it. Blowed out simp. Big, goofy, can barely get it up, just generous. And I love the fact that she admitted to the sliding scale, to the single by choice of sliding scale. Can you say how much money got to make? And she answered, she said, depends on how he looks. Granted. Granted. <laughs> so here we go. Shout out to the squeegee kid. Come through with a super chat. He says, where and who is taking care of her four kids while she's traveling? Kendra never asked the question to these multi-mamas. <laughs> Seriously. Like, I got an answer for this one. I got, I got a, I got a theory. This she talking about. She going to Italy. She all over the. She globe trying got a bag. So she claimed she is. She has claimed her hierarchy via resources in the gynocracy. Her mama take <laughs> take care of them kids because she got the bread and resources. Don't y'all get it? She she at the top. So mama. Grandma taking care of them kids, and she just forking over a couple of little hundos, and that'll do it. <laughs> and mostly watching them sell. She's like a 17, 15, 14. So these is, they up I'm deep. tripping. So, I'm, yeah. I'm, <laughs> oh, yeah. In the hood, after age uh, seven and up, I'm, I'm tripping. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in her eyes, she don't even got kids. She got 17, 14, 15, and 11. Or she like, they grown. We done heard it. Shame, shame. That's sick. All right, by Miss Pent. Meanwhile, her kids just lost dad four years ago, and Mama is traveling. Yeah, there you go. And sure, huh. on top of the kids, and aged out of her supervision, all that. Oh, there you go, Squeegee kid. He sound like he sound like gay that he, he had paid that dark picture. Yes, they cat. They not giving all the dark details she just all they all all of a sudden just bossed up i'm just a boss nobody did nothing i did this all of these sisters did everything by themselves uh -huh. good 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 observation squeegee kid yeah insurance policy shawty i like it yeah. <laughs> don't be acting like you some boss ceo now just because you know came up on the life insurance policy have some honor and morality my goodness Money should be spent appropriately, not you go on trips <laughs> and, you know, just all bad. Honor, morality, shit. Here we, here we go. Stand up, do the Kendra cam. Here we go. You want a younger man to do all those things too? Yes. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm open with age. Like, But what happened um, with that one? Why are you not with him? A liar. A liar? Yeah, we're still cool, though. But um, he's very much a narcissist. <laughs> well, you know, I hope y'all know men that oh. make a certain amount of money have egos, right? We have to know this. I know, I know that because I just went on a, a date with a guy. If you, what I still, I just went on a date with a guy got the other day. You said his name? I didn't say his name. But if you're listening, because he cursed me out, <laughs> I was telling her about it, my friend. He cursed me out because I haven't been answering his phone calls and I didn't want to um, go with him. We went on a date and he was rude to the waitress. I didn't like that shit. And he was like, you know, I have a Lamborghini SUV. I, and I'm like, mm, okay. Okay. What? <laughs> Next. Next. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so don't be rude. What about, so money, we get that. We got there early. Bare minimum is 85K. Mm -hmm. Let's do the kids are can. Okay, so I'm gonna just let you know my ass is out, okay? okay. She's going to the what? Beyonce concert, so we're gonna see this outfit. <laughs> Girl, why this 
sounds so messy. Is this it's the not- hotel room? Why well, you got your ass out? You're going. Hold on. Here we okay, go. So I'm gonna just let you know my ass. Out. Okay. Okay. She's going to the Beyonce concert, so we're gonna see this outfit. Girl, why this house so messy? Is this it's the not- hotel? There you go. She got the Kiki Palmer dress on. She got all them cheeks out. It's a lot of cheeks back there. She said, I'm I'm just gonna let you know. My ass is out. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and granted, <laughs> oh my goodness. Put your best foot forward or your best cheek forward. Cause that's all you got to offer is cheeks. Sister, you could talk all that hypergamy, all that boss chick talk you won't. You only good for clashing of the meats from randos. Hub up and enjoy. Yeah, this big old sister, them cheeks out. She going to see Beyonce or Lizzo. I'm confused right now. And then she come up here capping, talking about I was just on a date with a six-figure man. And he was too arrogant. I told him, beat it next. Yeah, come next. on, man. What? <laughs> Hey, hey, Kendra Shea is thick, and as it should be. Kendra, like, you big, brutish, sassy mama, you. Yeah, Kendra, I was just out on with them guys. They got issues. Yeah, he cussed me out. Oh, here we go. We're going to let her land this plane. I'm over this, sister. Why you got your ass out? You're going out. Wait, are you going to the Beyonce concert like this? For the most part, yes. Yeah. Oh, be out? <laughs> it doesn't have have to be, but you wanted to be out. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm okay. seeing that. Right now, listen. I'm, I'm. I'm. I want you to respond because if I make you a highlight, I know how my tests get down. So, what would you say to the person that would say you're 34, you have four kids? I think you have a unique situation because your husband actually passed away. Yes. Um. So it's not like you have four kids by just anybody. It was your husband. Um. But yeah, and still, and your requirement is 85k, nothing less. What would you say to that person? If, if it doesn't fit you, then it's fine. But that's my requirement. And I'm not going to, like, settle. It's fine. Goodbye, dog. All right. She done went all OJ Simpson on us. She went, if it don't fit, you must have. She said, if it don't fit, you must have quit. She done went OJ on us, people. Yeah. Boom, shakalaka. <laughs> the arrogance. The arrogance and the ego. Ladies, observe this. At what point does a woman's ego ever serve her in a good way? Seriously. Do do women need egos? Does it serve a purpose other than serving themselves? No, it don't. This egotistical, big, sassy, broad here. You hear? She's like, I I inundated Mr. Six, Seven Figures. I next him. He got on my nerves. I just next. I yeah, I got four kids, but I was married to most like I'm not disrespecting the dead, but most likely to a less than individual. There you go. That may that brother rest in peace. But how can I uh, assume that he won't worth a dang? Because I'm looking at his wife, and I see how she acting. And she ain't, she definitely ain't uh, representing him or his corpse too well. That's my point. So here we go. Uh, shout out to DB. Come back with another super chat. Says her friends know that her body is horrible. They wouldn't even help her with the Kendra cam. He says, we see that lime in stomach. Bring back down to earth women, please. I hate it. It's all bad. <laughs> hey, he said her friends was like, mm-mm. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, you got all this. You what, Miss Six Figures? Here we go. What mooch you at? Uh, Could you unbig your back? No, you can't do shit like that. Unbig your back before you come up here talking all this mess. There you go. Right. There you go. Come up here with an unbigged back, and maybe our tones is different. Fair. Here we go. All right, let me take this back a second here. Man, she's so sassy. Here we go. Thing less. What would you say to that person? If if it doesn't fit you, then it's fine. But that's my requirement, and I'm not gonna like 
settle. I don't know. That's what I want. I'm gonna let you. I hate that. You're about to get on settle. I, I hate it. Oh, I hate because y'all don't use settle right. Y'all don't use the word settle right. I, I, I hate that. I hate that the narrative is, and I'm not pushing this because so many women are saying, oh, God, can't just push everybody to make less. I'm not really pushing that. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I know women who date wealthy men, and that's what it is. So that's not the case. But I don't think if a guy makes less money, it should be considered settling. Like, you know, like you just said, you were with a guy that was 56 and he made the money, but you left because of what? Fucking narcissist. Okay, yeah. so now if you would have stayed with him, now he had your money, mm -hmm. but if you would have stayed with him, would you have felt like you were settling? I would have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you could you could meet a man. I, I'm not saying this has to be it, but I, I, I do want women in general, and most women that watch my show are black women. I do yeah. want y'all to base characteristics higher than salary oh, and don't call it settling you. well you said you don't want to settle if he makes less than 85k because in your mind if you say the guy that makes less 85k you're settling but what if this man is like a man that's gonna love on you love on your children be there for you in ways that matter more than a man that can make 200k i don't look at that as settling i had this conversation with my friend before i don't look at that as settling i guess you just have to i can compromise i guess but <laughs> but don't bring nothing to the table because I don't like that either. Absolutely. I'm not and I want to make sure I get that clear. I'm definitely not talking about the man who ain't got no job, ain't got no vision, ain't got shit. Whoa, stop, stop, stop. My man said it best. Hold on. So you if you can find love, if that man works, you know, at whatever job mm -hmm. and is a good man. And is good to you, mm -hmm. and honors and honors the house, and honors his wife, and does what he can. Mm -hmm. And as long as he's secure in himself to mm -hmm. know that, yep, she makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. As long as she's comfortable enough to say, I'm going to cover the mortgage and all the other stuff. You pay the light bill, baby. You can take me to dinner every now and then. Mm -hmm. That is fine. Yeah. Light bill at best. <laughs> I hate, shout out to Tyler Perry. Y'all hey. get light bills at best. See, hey. Understand the power behind that message. You got pandering at, and he telling y'all that, listen, listen here, boss chick. Tyler Perry telling y'all, like, if if your man is paying the like bill at best, and every now and again, he bringing you Chick-fil-A every now and again, twice a, a month, you need to be grateful. <laughs> be grateful. We go. She all scowled out. All yeah. that. Yeah, kids are telling her she can't have Mr. Six Figures, and she like, I shan't not settle. I'm too dope. She said, I just told my friends this, Kendra. I won't do it. So yeah. here we go, man. It needs your car. I'm not talking about that guy. I'm talking about the hardworking men that I see on my show, mm -hmm. and they might not have the salary, but they're good men. Off. They but listen, if they can't pay for their own flight ticket, then I don't want them. <laughs> if you can't go to Paris, you don't want them. No, ma'am. Because I'm going to have a passport too. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. Big sister, say if you can't take her to Paris, in all these fancy places, this woman, Mr. Walker, she ain't say Myrtle Beach, Six Flags, to the Waffle House, to Cold Stones. She said Paris. Petty. She said Petty. Huh? <laughs> Even Jay-Z. I think Jay-Z said he'd only been to Paris twice. God dang it. And she, and she said, my next man, even though... Ah, uh, I got four kids out here in these mother loving streets. I'm big, sassy, and blowed out. Ninja, I'm going to Petty. If you ain't coming, if you don't come and you can't afford no ticket, Jacques Jean Paul gonna be glazing this Chris. <laughs> hey, G Honda, Jacques gonna be glazing croissants over there. <laughs> Remember, Jim, you understand? Oh, old, old croissants, stale ones. <laughs> 
We try to let her cook. It's like every time she opens her mouth, people. I'm going to take this back a second. Here we go. I'm going to let it go first. I, it's hard to not pause this because she out of pocket. All gas, no brakes. <laughs> Here we go. They might not have the salary, but they're good men. That's all. But listen. Can't, if they can't pay for their own flight ticket, then I don't want them. Shit. <laughs> if you can't go to Paris, you don't want them. No, ma'am. Because I'm going to have a passport, too. <laughs> I mean, we can get a passport. We can work on that. Because he, okay. like, he might just be like, you know, one of those hood men. I was going to say hood niggas. But he might just be one of them who never been anywhere. And I can help him with that. He got the money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, okay, let's clear to that. So what was the last, your last thing was it your husband? My last relationship. No, it was the 56 year old. Oh, yeah. And, okay, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Three months ago, three, maybe. Three months ago. Okay, yeah. three months ago. Um, you don't have, oh, you do. What are your three flaws? I am. <laughs> People say I'm materialistic. Cause I like nice things, but at the same time, I can pay for it. So I don't see what's wrong with that. And then people say that I am too honest. My sister tells me to shut up sometimes because I just say too much. <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna say this, even though I know you're not, not gonna say this is a flaw, but I love too hard, and I do. Okay. And I and what's the age range you would date now, Ronell? 34? 35 to 50. Okay. And um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I do love hard. And I am understanding. I am patient. I am supportive. Like, if you have a dream, I'm going to be like, let's go, baby. Let's get this money. But at the same time, you're not gonna take me down in the plane if some like I need to understand what's going on first. But I'm very much supportive. Very much. I'm, gonna help, I'm gonna help you get there. Um, let's see. Stop the cap. Yes. I'm that bitch. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. As she, as, as she stress her ass out to the Beyonce concert. <laughs> Beyonce, you see what you got girls doing? You got girls walking bucket naked, Beyonce. Be, speaking of which, Beyonce, um, I, I, I literally am about to get my, my Beyonce picture hung up on my wall. And Beyonce, you have girls walking out the house butt ass naked to see Beyonce. I got a jacket. <laughs> All right, right now, how can the guy who can afford to date you reach out to you? Um, on here at Raynell Jackson White or on Instagram at fine underscore wine 89. Fine underscore wine 89. This, this big sassy woman. Y'all see it. Uh, there you go, squeegee kid. IG private. Of course it is. Of course it is. I bet it is fine wine. Yeah. Where did she go wrong? Let's, let's. Let's let's review this footage. If this widow, she's a widow. If this widow would have came up here humble, if she would have took herself to Diamond's School of Humbleness, <laughs> she would have got so much pushback. If she would have came up here sweet, big and sassy, I know not. It can't be sweet and sassy. <laughs> that sounds like some food. <laughs> sweet and big, big and sweet instead of big and sassy. It had been a different story, but no, she bossed up. She honorary. She acting like a big, handsome boy. She going to have to pay to play. Rip the hip with all that bread. Come on. Hmm. Little sister. Yeah, because we hit on this a few times before. As sassy as she is, sister, you will have a hard time keeping Muncho off your man. All right? Muncho, no, <laughs> Muncho, Muncho will take your man. Stop trying the, to fight. I'm not gonna fight you over him. Already won. There's no need to fight the duke it out over man. There's no need to get your ass whooped over your man. 
there's no reason to get your ass whipped over your man. Okay? There's no reason. Because I already won. At best, you get Munchos leftovers at best. Yeah! Boom, See what I'm saying? Munchos leftover at best. There's things worse than death. So, so this is the, how, that's what I said, Rebecca. How did the husband pass? She ain't even 40 yet. We're going to assume that the husband was around the same age, okay? And he just passed. No, health issues, I'm going to say. Or, you know, somebody said that uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe she ate him. Don't know. <laughs> and here we go. I see you just had Rebecca up on the screen. Shout out to my girl, Rebecca. Just hit us with a cash app. Thank you. We appreciate you, Rebecca. She come through with the cash app supporting the show. We definitely appreciate it here. Late in the show, it's never too late to support your interest. Hit the cash app, hit the super chat, people. Uh, I want to say we behind on the chat here. Let me catch up. Shout out to B. Wyatt. He says they be thinking their make up face is their real <laughs> face. Yes. He looked like Florida Evans when she hopped out that shower. <laughs> Man, tell the truth, Shane the devil. Yeah. Yeah, she hurt the yeah, face beat to the gods right now. But uh, <laughs> I gotta get that. Oh, I gotta get that drop. Man, to the gods. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'd have been perfect. And here she cause look at her. You can't tell her she ain't no solid. 10.5. She like she. I got my my baby hairs down to my eyebrows. She keep poking that stinking tongue out her mouth. She thinks she a brat. No. When that makeup come off and that Florida Evans come out and when she wake up, old Negro spirituals be singing in the background from out of nowhere. Stop. Stop. You ain't her. Yeah, she said, I'm not B. But you not. You not. It's over, sister. Thanks for playing the game and all, but you lose, you lose. <laughs> it's over. Uh. But yes, we got to go out. You always say it, Mr. Walker. We got to go out and make some of ourselves. And yes. they are born with inherent value. All right. There you go. Yeah. Men, accept that. Accept that uh, task as a man. We got to go out and make something of ourselves. And that's why you get a man standing on the square. That's how you get a select male. Because you got to go out, watch the, please, watch the movie 300. I know I know a lot of the fellas already have, as you should. Watch the movie 300. Watch the, the event that is Adobe. It's right in the beginning of the movie when he a kid. That's what, in my mind, that's what every man needs to go through. You need to be released into the wilderness. Go prove yourself, ninja. Come back and then take your rightful position. Otherwise, you're just worthless. <laughs> Seriously. Because... At the end of the day, that man you just described ain't coming. All right, but I, what no. is coming? The good old rose. You go get break your rose out after that Beyonce concert. To the no, to the no, 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 here to the no. If the rose had a nose, yeah, I, uh, I ain't gonna get into it. Big old sister talking mm. about mediocre hunching. You do realize it go both ways. That 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 we need need some need some uh, excitement, need entice to get up. Can't be just sitting there staring at undesirable things and get aroused. You see what I'm saying? Can't be looking at something undesirable and get excited. <laughs> it's seriously work that way, man. What we do with her? Put her in the cell. What we about to do, y'all? Oh, it's it's a shame. I hate to see a widow go out like this, but it's a, it's too much captivity in the story. She brutish, sassy, and and just mean. She big meanie. I went through her big mean ass in the sub. All right, so to the sub, huh? All right, yes. I see Project Leroy. Here we go to the sub, <laughs> sister. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favourite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. 
Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Yeah, man. So there you go. Godspeed. <laughs> the final descent into the abyss via the Brockers cry. Hell. <laughs> so, yeah, this one here. She started off by saying she do got some sort of resources. So your best bet right now, pay to play. Mm. I hope you find some peace of mind. Yes. Oh. Yes. Embrace. That's all we really telling y'all. We ain't telling y'all not to be boss chicks, CEO bays, and things like that. We ain't, no, go ahead. Just embrace that lifestyle fully. You can't get some of the king's gold then say, uh-uh, it's all mine. I want it for myself. You come bring some of your gold too? No. No. Go ahead out there, queen, princess. Find you a pauper and take care of him. Play the game through. Play through. Y'all ain't playing through. Y'all get to the final stage and y'all don't want to play no more. <laughs> Here you go. That part. All right. That part, people. <laughs> so, adios, sister. See you yeah. on the other side. All right. I didn't.